The next site is a hot site. A hot site is a site that has the same hardware and software capabilities as the primary data center. It can be a real-time hot site or a near real-time hot site. The software and the data are as up-to-date as possible as technology and expense will allow. It is an extremely expensive option because you must maintain effectively a parallel data center. If you're going to keep software and data up to date, it means that administrators have to be allocated or some time have to be allocated by administrators to not only keep the primary data center software up to date, but copy all these patches over to the secondary hot site. And the same with data. You have to have a strategy that replicates data that hits your primary site into this hot site. This can be up to date as true real time, or it can be delayed by several minutes, perhaps an hour or two. It requires a very short cutover time. In fact, the only cutover time that's really necessary is the time it takes to bring any data lag up to real time, up to the minute data. Another alternative may be a mobile site. If you have multiple data centers, each of which could be susceptible to some disasters, you can create a trailer with the appropriate environmental utilities. This trailer could be the trailer on the flatbed, an 18-wheeler type configuration. You can configure it either as a cold site so that it just has electricity and HVAC, or it can be a warm site. You can go ahead and preload it with hardware and some software. Either way, it can be easily moved to a place where it's necessary, where it's needed. Now, how do you choose between these different options? You have to look at the cost, the maintenance overhead, and one of the most critical factors is the maximum allowable downtime. If your business has a very short maximum allowable downtime in the terms of hours, you may need to go with a hot site. If you can afford to be down for several days, a cold site may satisfy the needs. Keep in mind, though, as soon as you put this plan into action and you start to bring up another data center, at the moment you begin the activity, all of the people involved in bringing this new data center up are not available for any other endeavors at all. So you want to make sure that you don't try to do two things at once. Bringing the data center up has to be the number one priority.